Okay, so we've had a little look at a, a single mic technique on a combo. And let's uh, move over to a sort of multiple mic technique on a head and cab, which let's hypothetically say this is going to be a big rock guitar sound. You know, I would, I would always go for two mics when, when, when trying to capture sort of like a heavy distorted sound, uh, primarily to, to use the different characteristics of the two microphones, like the 57 naturally is, has a mid-range to it and a, a nice bite to it. Your, your condenser is going to sound more open and have a bit more tone and it's going to, you know, capture all the things the other mic doesn't. So it's like, you know, it's a bit of, bit of yin and yang with the microphones there, you know, it's a bit like sort of, you know, they, they make up for each other's um, foibles, you know. So if we say, the um, 57 will stick kind of at the centre. So if this is a 4 by 12 so we're saying you can feel the, the edge of the speaker there. So let's say that's, that's kind of the centre. I find a tiny little angle as opposed to straight on can just help the relationship of the two microphones. So let's say something like that. Again, just make sure your stand is really done up. You don't want this moving. So that's, uh, that's the 57 in place. We come around here. So I'd make sure, firstly, that the pad's on, and secondly, your polar pattern is key, key here. A microphone like this, this one has five polar patterns, but most have three. You've got cardioid, figure eight, and omni. Now, really, you know, I would shoot for, for a rock guitar sound. I mean, there's no rules here, but for a rock guitar sound, I would shoot for a cardioid setting with the pad on. And as a starting point, you want to go for sort of a very similar distance from the cab. So let's say there. Now what with the condenser, I want to capture the low end and the roundness of the guitar. So I'm going to shoot for a bit of, a bit of the sort of, you know, the side of the cone, a bit of off axis, like that. You know, another way of doing this, if you know, if you if you're like starting out and you're like, oh, you know, I want to hear what this, I want to hear what these two things do, do is to put them right next to each other like this, because then. The phase relationship between the two. I mean, that's 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 a way of, of of being sure that you know you're not you're not sort of like you know you're not sort of like looking at the wrong angle, so you can't see exactly how far away. I mean, here you can clearly see you can get the two diaphragms equidistant from the cone. That would be a, a guitar. I mean, you could work with uh, just from from doing this a few times. You know, you can you could go in there. I'm pretty sure that would sound half decent, you know. But, you know, a nice, a nice way, a nice way to start is just to throw it up like that, jump in the control room, have a quick listen. I mean, let's say, so we'll put the mics back apart. I mean, let's say you go in the control room and you feel like it's a little bit, it's a little bit forceful, you know, and it's a little bit like, a little bit angry. And you could actually come back, you know, Take back two or three inches. Same thing over here. That's just going to have a little bit of an easier sound to it. Because you know, in, in theory, what you're doing is putting this right next to a very loud signal. You know, in the same way that you would with uh, with a vocalist. If you know, there's too much, too much explosives and too much, you know, too much sort of like noise and thing. You can move it back, and it lets the sound breathe a bit more. You know, similarly, if you want the thing to be really, like, you know, on the end of your nose, you can get it right in on the cloth, you know? But if you do that, if you move that one in on the cloth, you want to get this one right in as well. So I suppose what, what this shows us is that really, it's to do, if you're using two microphones, it's all about both mics being the same distance from the cone. Otherwise, you, you know, if you've got one here, and I've seen people mic guitars like that, this and that, and that's, that's just never, ever going to have a, 
good phase relationship with the source, which is here, you know? Because, you know, you can imagine the sound pressure coming out from this thing. It's going to be, you know, you want, you want to really, really sort of like make sure these mics are equidistant. Otherwise, it's a, a world of shite. So again, if in doubt, stick them right next to each other, jump in the control room, have a quick listen, take it from there, you know?